Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Now, before we get started and I introduce you to Sue, I want to tell you exactly where we're at. We're in La Fortuna. We're up at a place called Mystico. It used to be called Aeronaut Hanging Bridges. Sue's an artist. She did all this, and we're going to be talking to Sue. Sue, thanks for coming. Nice so I got to ask every. I always ask this: How did you find your way to Costa Rica? Uh, 14 years ago, this November, I was on a teacher's holiday, and me and my teacher friends always took a couple weeks off, called in sick, you know, and uh, met in a different exotic location, and we met uh, in uh, Flamingo Beach, and that the rest is history. I ended up moving here, so. Fell in love. So no plans of initially wanting to live here. You no. just came here and something new. It wasn't Mexico this time. It, you know, it wasn't Nicaragua. It was Costa Rica, and I fell in love with uh, Flamingo Beach and Brazilico. So when you went back, how literally quick did you come back to live? Two months. So I take care of everything, everything. Come to get down here. Yeah, I took care of everything. I, I went to a school, a country day school. I got an interview, and I gave them a good price. And they hired me on the spot, and I packed up, and that's how it started. So I'm assuming you're not independently wealthy. No. Uh, you do do this now. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna be flashing some of your other art that you do. You've done things for restaurants. You've done things for personal people in their houses and murals and tabletops, right? Everything. And that's yes. pretty much what you do now, right? That's what I do now. So, and that's how you make a living. That's how I make a living. I also uh, work with school children, but I usually donate that myself. So I make my living first, and then I will put the extra into to painting with children around Costa Rica. Do you see anything? Do you see any differences between doing your art here in Costa Rica and doing it in the United States? Total difference. Uh, like what? Well, there's a lot of ins and a lot of outs. Uh, for one, is uh, there's a uh, when I walk into a school in Costa Rica with paint and with uh, my recommendations, they open the doors. In the United States, depending on the state I go to, I have to have OSHA regulations. Okay, red insurance. tape. Hoops, red hoops, tape. Hoops, Lots hoops, of hoops. Hoops, hoops, hoops. If I walk in with uh, 100 gallons of paint and 100 paint brushes, they accept what we have and our recommendations from other schools. So, but you didn't have any really connections down here, right? When you came here to do, you just started, so I you know. just basically went into schools and like, hey man, look what I can do. Or? Right, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did, yeah. <laughs> Would you recommend other people doing it like that? <laughs> um, the first few years were very hard. They were very hard. Uh, and I had to take some really cut rate prices. My first mural was $90. Really? Yeah. Well, this stuff is fascinating. I got I've seen a lot of your stuff. This is probably one, one of my favorites actually. This well, is, and this, this is, is great. Also inspired by the Mystico hanging bridges and to plug them, but they had a dream of changing the uh, forest and the and the land into something a little bit more mysterious. And so the Johnny Castillo, who is the patron of this project, said, "Can you give me something mysterious? Something that really fits with being a child for the first time and seeing the jungle. So he tr totally trusted your vision. Totally. I mean, he just kind of said, I want this and well, you Well, just... he asked around first. <laughs> he asked around who to hire first. Well, I'm sure he saw some of You know, work. he's a really smart businessman. So is this how so, it pretty much, so it pretty much works like this. You, people see your stuff and you, they get in touch with you that way. Yeah. It's not like you have yes. a marketing team and a, you know, advertisements and- I do brochures. a little bit in the States. So they, they pretty much know I'm, you know, a tropics painter, and I'd rather be here. But I do a lot of good things in Daytona and Ormond Beach too, and in, in Denver and what off would you, Broadway. What would whatever. you recommend? What would you recommend for a, 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 another person, kind of creative like Archie, that wants to come down here and do something similar, whether it's anything in the arts? Yeah. What would what, would they do it like you're doing it, just kind of word of yeah. mouth? I mean, you kind of get lucky with that. You know, a it little really, bit. Not was, lucky. I mean, obviously you're It wasn't skilled. really luck. I had a website, and then I met a, a guy, a Paradise Adventure guy, Johnny Turcott, I think eight years ago, and he got me set up with oh, you're Facebook. you're just name dropping well, everywhere. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he got me set up with Facebook, and he said it would, you know, I, 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 he, I, I paid him a little money to do it, and he said it would be the best thing I've ever done. 
And so when I meet the people that come through, even on like the disco ball or something, and then they connect me with people, the other connect me with people. And so a lot of it is just done through social networking, shall we say, so social networking. So that's kind of the way to go. That seems to be how I mean, we got a lot of emails about people that are tired of living wherever they're living, want to come down here and try to make a go at it. But it's kind of hard, you know, just to up your life and come down here, especially create creative folks, because it's sometimes hard to get your art or whatever your creativity thing is out. As I said, it was a very hard start. I always had my backup of my degrees and my fingerprints and you know all that to be a teacher and a college professor. So I've always had that. And I mean, I even had a contract in Tokyo. Yeah, but there's no money. Tokyo. There's no money in that here. I mean, teaching. No, is... no, no. But I, I could always go back. You okay, see, okay, I've okay, never, yeah, yeah. I never have cut or burnt bridges. I was always able to go backwards or, or go back to the life as a professor. But this was something that I felt would be a way that I could really express who I truly am. Do you have any plans of going back? Well, to see my granddaughter, Ava Quinn, name mm -hmm. dropping. <laughs> oh, my Anybody Ava, else you want to you give know. a shout out to? <laughs> and Aaron. You know, no, I want to go see my granddaughter. You know, I want to But go your, your life is here. I mean, you want to see It here. pretty much is. And, and uh, I've met some of the most beautiful friends here in La Fortuna. And as long as they're here, we're all together. And, and Okay, what, what's been okay? What's been the hardest thing about coming here? What's you said some of the good things have happened to you. Have you seen anything that you don't really care for? Um, Fourteen years ago, I didn't speak Spanish, and <laughs> I was dealing with uh, in businesses of uh, from people that owned other businesses from other countries that knew the laws and this and that, and I I didn't know how to actually go in there and make sure that. I would get paid, you know, or things like that. There were there were a lot of people when I was first here years ago that just didn't pay me, and the artist crew, and they keep those murals up. But they're like, well, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, basically. So now I speak a little Spanish. I got a great lawyer, you know. At least I can name drop him if I need to, and that makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, and I know the tourist police and everything now, but. When I first came here and just jumped into a new country, yeah, I was open prey. You know, people like to use sometimes people with their creative energy and not pay them for what they're worth, as you probably know. Yep. I'm still struggling. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So no other just that was you got this hair. So that no other disadvantages to moving here. You, no no regrets or no nothing. No, I, I don't. I don't have regrets. No, I have no regrets. Life's too short to have them anyway, right? You know? No, but no, I, I wake up in the morning and I'm sitting under a volcano or I'm like way up there living next to a waterfall and I have to remind myself I'm not in downtown somewhere right. and I'm waking up in a beautiful place. So I'm kind of with you on that. So I know I asked you this about two minutes ago, but just one more time. So any, any advice for somebody in your kind of shoes that is thinking about coming here? Well, I would find, I would actually... That, that maybe makes it a little easier than no. you did. And I understand, I understand that. Huh? How about as a single woman coming down to it? Oh, we don't want to get into that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> 13 years ago, I was pretty handsome or beautiful. And so I had a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things going on in that direction. If I wasn't gay, Sue... <laughs> yeah, I know. But I mean, I, and I really, I was on a, you know, I, anyway. So I didn't know what was going to surround me as far as the Latin lover and the mystique and all that. And I had so many people approaching me in that way. And I thought it was all real, but I had no idea that that's just part of the <laughs> thing. And so we could write a whole book about that. You know, when they say this, they mean this. When they say that, they mean that. But that's that's another cute story. All right, we go back to it now. What would you, what would advice to cut the corners and maybe make to make sure people right. could be more successful right. or, or make it here? What would what would you recommend or the advice you'd give them? First of all, you have to really come in with a work ethic that you're going to keep your work ethic going because my first year and a half here as a teacher, I mean, I was on the beach and every night there was reggae, live reggae till four in the morning, you know, so it was... And you, you know, hate the parties and you no, don't so, like you to know, do that's any of the that. Thing, you, 
you know, you have to, I, there has to be discipline, first of all, a little bit. We have discipline. I know, I know. We have a lot of discipline. But I really do, because when I'm working on a project like this, I'm in and sequestered by 10. I also um, was lucky enough. Really? Yeah. Usually, yes, That's I am. impressive. Yes, you didn't know that? Because no, I, I get up at 5. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, find, it's hard, but you got to find some really good friends. And uh, I've learned now not to be afraid to question about references and other people, and you know, just 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 ask questions. You know, ask ask. Wow, and you don't have to say, "Tell me bad things about this business or person," or would you go forward? Right. And so, actually, a lot of my success is I've met really, really good friends, but it's taken a long time. Exactly. Well guys, here's the deal. If you're interested in getting your house painted or have a mural or you have a tour company or you like this kind of stuff. Oh, I've been to House Hunters International too. Forgot to tell you that, but. Any more? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry shut up, man. It's all I'm you. Sorry this for is that the one. Sioux hour. Should we sorry. introduce Jesse? He's kind of a <laughs> Jesse, helpful, let's bring Jesse in. He doesn't do video. He's too. No, come on, Jesse. Please come over. over. Come on, Jesse. Please come over. So <laughs> this is that, right? this uh, is my oh, detail yeah. guy, Jesse, and he's not mine. I mean, I, I feel we're very equal in our artistic endeavors. But ever since I met him, the animals and everything have gotten better. So you will see <laughs> a progression in the Sudan entourage. Is that things are getting better, and that's because of him. Oh, well, I'll take a bow. Thank you. He lives here as well. Bye bye. Another gringo <laughs> in Costa Rica. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you're interested, contact us, and we'll get you in contact with Sue. Thank you so much for Thank chatting you. with Thank us. You. Anyway, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Sue back Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cheers. That was fun. Now we can drink, damn it. Now we can drink, damn it. <laughs>